Right off the bat, I like that the Super 10 year has a bullet cowl instead of the bird's beak looking fairing that we see on other adventure bikes. It has that upright riding posture that makes long trips in the saddle more comfortable, maybe not as comfortable as the rolling easy chair ride of a Goldwing or Electric Glide, but then it's not intended for the same type of journey. Even though the Super 10 year is off-road capable as far as adventure bikes go, keep in mind that this isn't meant for hardcore off-roading. Compared to what I consider a dual sport bike, adventure bikes are big and heavy, think of it more as a dual sport tourer. The Super 10 year comes with off-roadish features such as a skid plate, handlebar brush guards, and the adventure bike suspension that gives you a bit more wheel travel than a street-only bike. I like the grooved foot backs that, when seated, give you a cushy peg underfoot. When you get into more technical riding and you stand up, the cushioning compresses under your weight and gives you more sure footing on the underlying metal pegs.